keeping you on top of a breaking situation that is still ongoing in Midtown Atlanta. Good evening. I'm Justin Farmer. Good evening, everyone. I'm Linda Stofer. A woman is under arrest, accused of shooting several people. Two of them have died. And we learned in the last few minutes, police say it was not random. Look at the scope of the investigation today. The first shooting happened in a building off West Peachtree Street in the middle of one of the most heavily populated areas of the city. There is also a second shooting scene in Midtown and a scene at the airport right now where officers took the shooter into custody in the last couple of hours. And here are pictures of the suspect on the left. Two images police sent out during the search. You can see the woman uh, black and white stripes on the sweater on the right. The moment police took her into custody at Atlanta's airport wearing the same outfit and the mayor pointed out it was just before she reached security. In the last few minutes, police revealed cameras around the city help them locate their suspect. Now the search for the suspect today caused a lot of chaos across Midtown and for the past several hours we've watched as police vehicles and other law enforcement line the street of Midtown as officers combed buildings looking for clues. We have live team two coverage tonight to the search, the chaos and that arrest at the airport. And we begin with Channel 2's Audrey Washington live at Hartsfield Jackson International where police found that shooter just about two hours after that shooting started, Audrey. Right, I want to show you real quickly. Right now we are live here at the International Terminal, just right outside of it. And if you look here behind me, you can see what I am told is a police vehicle. I'm told that this vehicle was responding uh, to the apprehension of this shooter here at the terminal when the officer got into an accident. You can see how badly crushed this SUV is right here behind me. Uh, I just spoke with some officers here on scene, and they told me that the officer involved in this crash is going to be okay but again according to Atlanta police this uh, vehicle was involved somehow with the apprehension of this shooter here at the international terminal and then the driver got into an accident I'm told the officer behind the wheel is okay you can see the badly crushed vehicles right now uh, about to be towed away in just a few moments we are the only people here on the scene the only news crew here to to show you this. this is something you will only see on Channel 2 Action News. Now, as far as that shooter, as you said earlier, uh, she was apprehended here uh, at the airport. She was again in that black and white striped shirt. Uh, police told me that they were able to take her into custody without really much of incident, meaning that she didn't really fight back or didn't even say anything. That's according to some of my APD sources. They told me that they took her into custody right now now, of course, they are interviewing her, asking her questions, trying to find out what the motive was behind uh, these shootings. Again, though, uh, I just came back from inside the terminal, and really, business is back as usual. I'm looking around, and I and I saw many travelers just going about their business, trying to uh, still make their flights. So everything inside the terminal is back to usual as police uh, continue to interview and speak with this uh, shooter who they say shot who they say shot and shot three people and killed two right now we are live here at Hartsville Jackson Airport I'm sending it back over to you all right Audrey Washington thank you for that now we continue our live team two coverage with Channel 2's Larry Spruill Larry was there shortly after the shooting he's live again in Midtown where police are in that area and John, I was the first reporter here on scene when that shooting happened. Just take a look at the active scene right now. You can still see SWAT members out here. Now they arrived shortly after they announced that the suspect was caught. They came over here and they went inside this building. We were told by neighbors that the shooter, she lives inside this building here at 1280 Condos. Now what we are told what happened was that she was inside the management office earlier this afternoon when she started shooting multiple people were shot two people were dead now all that happened inside the management office now as of right now they have that office area covered SWAT team members are here inside this apartment complex and possibly inside her unit trying to figure out what caused all of this now we do know that the medical examiner's office they also just arrived here as well within the last 30 minutes I spoke with the neighbor who lives in this building he was on the elevator when that shooting happened take a listen there was a girl across the way from me in the elevator who just got off as well. She looked at me and she said, they shooting. So I said, well, let's get up out of here. So we just started running as fast as we could. 
ran to the street level, came around here, alerted the front people at the front desk that there was a shooting, and then they, they locked the building down. And that building is still locked down. If we can take a look over here, you can still see neighbors actually sitting down waiting for permission to walk back inside this building. As of right now, they are not allowed access. But once again, take a look at the active scene. SWAT team members are out here. They are investigating. They are inside that building at this very hour. We are still talking to neighbors to try to figure out what all, why all of this happened. Several neighbors I talked to tell me they knew that young lady, but they would never assume or even imagine that something like this would happen. We are live in Midtown tonight. Larry Sproul, Channel 2 Action News. Larry, the entire thing is just absolutely stunning and to learn it was less than two hours between what happened there and when she was arrested at the airport. Just incredible. Well, continuing our live Team 2 coverage right now is Candace McGowan live at Colony Square and Candace, we learned the cameras there were key to this arrest. Yeah, APD saying that it was the cameras as well as participation from people in the community that really helped them track down this shooter very quickly. Uh, she was seen running towards Colony Square here right after uh, those shots were fired at those two different locations. And they said they depended on the cameras here to really figure out who she was and where she was going. We have some video from earlier. This was business uh, lunchtime, just after lunchtime when this all unfolded. And we know that they went into lockdown in this area, working with the many buildings and businesses around here. Some people said that they were sheltered in place. They were getting a manicure, had to stay in the business. Other people saying that they had to get out of there and tried their best to uh, get out of harm's way. There was some moments of uncertainty earlier, not knowing exactly where this shooter was. APD saying that they initiated their active shooter protocol, bringing in multiple resources from many different departments. And that's when they issued that shelter in place alert here at Colony Square. Now, eventually, figuring out that that shooter had made her way to the airport and they work with their federal partners to get her uh, into custody. They did say that they have recovered a firearm, which was a handgun that she had with her. And they are saying tonight that uh, this was no a random act of violence. They do believe that this was targeted. But again, you have two people who have lost their lives in all of this. You have one person still at the hospital. No word on their condition right now. But APD is still working out those details before they release the name of that suspect or the victims as well. Guys, back to you. Candace, thank you. And police really talking about that strong cooperation from all of the units involved and also the public for contacting them when they had information too. Candace, thank you.